What up YouTube, I'll be turning with God again. This video, as you can see, is called Don't Be Left Behind in the Rapture. When the Rapture comes, those who are saved, who've placed their trust in, um, for salvation in Jesus Christ alone, and his sacrifice, and received his blood with the Holy Spirit, are the ones that are going to be raptured, are the ones that are going to be called worthy enough. Anybody who's not done that will not be worthy enough, will not get raptured. They're unsaved. Only the saved are going to be raptured into uh, into heaven on, on rapture day. So, um, that being said, if you get left behind the, during the rapture, there's going to be pilots flying aircraft in the sky. There's going to, uh, and when, and a lot of the pilots are going to actually be saved Christian. <clears throat> so they're going to be raptured out of the cockpit into the sky. And then the plane with all people on board is going to be, um, is going to go down and crash. So a lot of passengers will be saved and will not be saved. I'm sure there's like lots and lots of passengers that are truly saved Christians. So, but the people on the ground, their fate is bad because they're unsaved. They got left behind in the rapture. Um, planes are going to crash. They're going to get crashed into by airplanes. Uh, trains are going. Uh, train conduct conductors are going to be raptured out, um, and then trains are going to crash into cars and kill a lot of people. There's going to be more. There's going to be stacked up on wars. There's going to be murders. There's going to be robbers looting stores for food. There's uh, probably all of the Bibles are going to be banned. So make sure if you get left behind on Rapture Day, make sure that you are that you guard the Bible, the Word of God, with your life. Um, so uh, don't get left behind during the Rapture. There's going to be murders. There's going to be looters more than ever. There's going to be airplane. Um, pilots there's going to be train conductors that are going to be raptured out of them and the trains and the airplanes are going to crash there's a rapture video on um on youtube i can't remember what's called but it's, it's called something like don't be left behind during the rapture or something like that um and they mention all this happening and stuff like that so don't be left behind there during the rapture. It's going to be absolutely insanely chaotic. It's going to be terrifying completely. The unsaved are going to be left on the earth to suffer the great tribulation. Um, and then after this is all done, I think there's going to be like a giant flood that comes and washes and destroys the earth or something. I don't know. I've heard what I've heard is when Jesus comes, uh, that he is going to actually come with uh, in the sky with uh, like billions of angels and himself and fire, like a huge sky filled f with fire. And um, he's going to rapture the people out that are saved, take them to heaven with the angels, and um, then the fire is going to be left behind and it's going to rain down on the earth on with when there's unsaved people on the earth. I now I don't know if this is true or not, but he will be coming with fire. I heard, um, but if there's fire that comes down and destroys the earth with people on it, then how will there be airplanes that crash and train conductors that lose control or get raptured out and resulting in trains crashing and stuff. How are people going to be doing that? How are there going to be mur murderers or looters when there's fire that rains down and consumes the earth into a big ball of uh, ash? So I don't understand how that would happen, but that's what I've heard. I, I don't know 100% sure, so I'm not just going to be a false prophet. You know, I'm not going to be, um, I'm not a prophet. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be a false, uh, a person speaking false stuff. So, that's that's what you I heard. I admit that I've heard more of, of people saying than God Himself in His Word. So I don't know for sure if people are really truly getting these rapture dates. Well, not the rapture dates, but the rapture um, details from God Himself. That's what they're saying. I'm believing it, and I'm not believing it. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And don't forget to share this with your family and don't get left behind during the rapture before I forget. Romans 10, 9, if we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe it in our hearts that God rose him from the dead, we shall be saved. Not that we might be saved, but we shall be saved.
freaking chest is hurting. Uh, we shall be saved. So, uh, meaning we will be saved. Receive God's Holy Spirit by receiving Jesus Christ's blood, blood and sacrifice, which is Romans 10.9. Uh, receive him, say, a sinner's prayer with a whole heart. Make sure you don't uh, forget to ask God for forgiveness for whatever you're sorry for before you say the prayer. Um, because when you do that, you're emptying your heart. So you need an empty heart in order to receive him into your life. He's not going to come in when there's regret and sorrow. So just come to him as you are. Ask for forgiveness of whatever you want to be, uh, whatever you feel sorry for or regretful for. Like, uh, so ask him to forgive you for that. And then you'll have a clean, empty heart for him to come into. So just come as you are. If you're a murderer, just um, repent of it. Just uh, ask him for forgiveness of it. And then accept him into your life, into your heart. There's no sin that God cannot forgive except for blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Uh, which is never accepting him as Lord and Savior, never receiving salvation, because obviously the only way to heaven is salvation through Jesus Christ. And if you don't ever receive the only way to heaven, then obviously that's um, unforgivable. So, um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and talk to you later. See ya.